How about being able to serve all your customers through one platform? Yes, we're talking about Dynamics 365 Omnichannel. I'm Suyash and I'll be walking you through the SMS channel of Dynamics 365 customer service today. Without any delay, let me first show you the capability and then we start talking about business problems and how we're going to use this capability to solve these business problems out there to serve our customers better. So I've sent an SMS right now and I expect that SMS to actually arrive in Dynamics 365 customer service. I'm pretending to be a customer you see an incoming conversation, an SMS request from Jane Doe. So what's important to realize right now is what the system did was it received an SMS sent to your number that you're using to serve your customers. So when your customers have problems, they basically send all their queries and complaints to that number to be able to be served. And what the system does is it receives all those messages sent to that number. And then it allows through routings to, to route that SMS to the most preferred or available agent in the system. In this case, it would be me. So I got an invitation to respond to an SMS. And when I click on accept, that's when I can engage with the customer. But before I do that, what's cool to see is that the customer has already been recognized by the system. So the agent does not have to do any search or any other kind of um, data research to be able to serve this customer. So let's go ahead and first accept this conversation. When I accepted this conversation, it has been added to my inbox. Just like your emails, your messages are part of your inbox. And when I go in my inbox, what I see now is that I have one of these assigned conversations. And when I click on this assigned conversation, I see Jane Doe has sent me an SMS. I have a problem with my order. It was broken. And what the system also does it for you that it already tries to classify using using the text into a meaningful sentiment. In this case, it's slightly negative. Let's try to change that. Um, but what you would also see is again, it's it's workspace. So you see on your right side, smart assist giving you confidence percentage wise. What are the most popular knowledge articles that would help you to actually solve these kind of problems? Be it relevant or not in this scenario, it's just cool to see things like these. So what I'm going to do is. Without having to navigate away from the screen, I can just quickly look at Jane Doe. I can open the record. I can see, oh yeah, this is uh, what we have. These are the discussions we have had with Jane Doe in the past. These are the related cases. And this is something that I need to be able to serve my customers better. So I need to have a holistic view on my customer. Imagine a scenario where you already have all those products that the customer bought from you and all the cases that the customer has opened. And then you can use all that contextual information to have a dialogue with your customer. How cool that would that be, right? So what I'm going to do right now is, again, this, this is really a demo, so I do not have all that data prepared, but I'm more focused on showing you the capability of SMS. What I'm going to do is I'm going to help this customer by solving their problem. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to type this message. I'm going to say, um, I'm sorry to hear that. We will send you a replacement soon. Could you please share us your order details? And when I send this, the good thing is that this message is going to deliver to the customer directly. So the, again, the agent does not have to navigate away from Dynamics ever. All the conversations are going to be centralized um, and they can work from here. And I already received a message, so I can say uh, order info. Thank you. Order info is one, two, three, four. So I'm, that's what I'm going to send. And I've sent it already. So it should appear any moment now. And this is where it appears now. And uh, yeah, so see, this is this is really cool. Um, having all your conversations uh, in a chain until you are actually servicing the customer and the customer is satisfied. Um, and I'll say you will receive replacement by tomorrow. What you also see is that the sentiment moved from slightly negative to slightly positive because the customer thanked us. So that's that's a good sign. And, and that's where I also want to emphasize, it's not just your regular conversation. These um, AI built tools that actually read through your conversations to indicate how is my conversation going, which is very, very valuable for the managers to get an overview of how am I doing 
in general while communicating to my customers? Is my average sentiment mostly positive? And then I can also zoom in on those conversations where I have negative sentiments. It's very easy to report on as well. So I'm going to send this. Um, and that's how we say, yeah, uh, that uh, the customer has been served. Uh, thank you for your help. And I've sent this back as a customer. Thank you for your help, which appears here. Um, again, uh, there are other features as well when you're working with chat to optimize the efficiency. For example, there are a lot of pre-written messages that you can just use directly and say, have I answered all your questions? That saves a lot of time. You could also possibly start a consultation with, with a different agent. You could transfer a conversation as well. You could take notes while having discussions. Uh, remember to send the replacement to the sender. And then that becomes a part of your timeline as well. So I can I can just do that. Um, I can always also use suggest a response from uh, um, um, uh, Copilot. Let's see how that works. And then what Copilot does is it just goes through your uh, discussions and tries to find relevant knowledge articles, similar cases to further assist the agents in helping it. Again, how Copilot helps you, it entirely depends on the data that you have. So if you have enough cases to, to suggest, um, yeah. So this is the response from, from Copilot. And then you can directly use it to send to the customer as well. Cool, right? I find this really fascinating for having a contact center, a digital contact center, an omni-channel platform to serve your customers. Um, now that you've seen the capabilities, how do you set it up? It's super easy. So in this case scenario, what I did was I'm going to quickly walk you through it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to end this conversation and then we move to the part where we see how we configured it. So for this, you don't need to do a lot of things. You just need to have a, a trial Twilio account to try it out. So I have a Twilio account and I retained a number from there, a US number, and then I, and I couple that number over here. So um, in my other videos, I've already told you, we normally work with Workstreams. So Workstream is the central place where you configure everything. This is the orchestration record where you configure how things need to work for, for a certain channel. So in Twilio test Workstream, I have added the Twilio number. It's super easy to add. Once you have your um, Twilio account set up and a number, it's going to ask you for some credentials over there, uh, and then you need to fill them in, and then you will be able to select and add numbers here directly. And when you add this, that's where it starts to work already. So I can I can quickly show you the logistics. So you need to make sure that a number is coupled. Uh, there are other behaviors and languages that you can you can change as well. And um, well, this is the most important part having having the work stream setup, but. The channels is also an important part. Huh? So in channels, when you go, you would see that I have a med messaging account. So you need to first add your channel and I have a Twilio test here. And you see that um, I have filled in the authentication and the account SSID here. So this is what you actually require. So before you set up a work stream, you need to have these details filled in um, and then add an SMS number here as well. When you fill this information, you would already be able to, to add SMS numbers available with your account. And of course, you need to fill this callback URL. So once you create this channel, this callback URL, you need to copy and you need to paste it in the SMS section where um, it's, it's a webhook. So this URL, basically what it does is every time an SMS is received in Twilio, it pushes all back that back to this callback URL. And that's how you basically get the SMS. There are a lot of more configurations that you can do from setting up on Workstream to routing these conversations to the relevant agent. All, all of that is done using the routing rules. So you, if, you're, if you're familiar with that, it should be super easy for you. Also, you can connect a bot in between. So let the bot first handle the customer as well. So if you want to have the self-service options, um, again, that's a different subject as well. So I'm not gonna get into these subjects in this. I'm just telling you the possibilities. And remember, when we receive the conversation, um, you can pretty much show all the customer details in the 
in the notification itself from the name of the customer to also the related company or phone number or any other details that you may have uh, using these notifications. They are also very easily configurable. Again, another video for them to go in more in detail. I hope this was helpful for you. I hope you learned something from it. If you have any questions, please feel free to send me comments. Uh, I'll be happy to help you and, and answer you. In the meantime, happy learning.